14,000 feet above sea level, we are in the highest city in the entire world, Potosi, Bolivia. This town was founded in 1545 because of a silver mine, the biggest silver mine in the entire world. Now something that's kind of interesting about Potosi is that this was one of the biggest cities in the entire world. In 1611, this was the most populated, the second most populated city in the entire world, right behind Naples, Italy the third being Paris, France. Now something also that was kind of interesting about this city, it was the richest city in the entire world. The biggest silver mine in the entire world. It fueled the Spanish economy for more than 400 years. It's kind of sad now because now it's one of the poorest cities in Bolivia. It's kind of a forgotten city. But we're heading up to the, to the silver mines next, and I hope you're looking as forward to it as much as I am. Okay, here we are at the Potosi Mine. We're going to go in. It's uh, a little different than I expected. It's uh, pretty small, but these guys are very brave guys. They uh, go in and they work six-hour shifts. They don't eat the whole time that they're in there. And it's uh, these train tracks, they're pushing the stuff out by hand. Let's go in and check it out. When the miners are outside the mine, they profess the Catholic religion. But when they are inside, they believe in other gods. Here you have the Tio that is the god of the mines. And this is where they do the offerings? Yes. They, uh, Omar is going to explain how the miners do the offering okay. every Friday. Okay. They usually make this offering every first and the last uh, Friday of every month. And this uh, symbol, this god, was made for, for the oldest miners in the mine. Uh, they start to do the offering with the cocalypts and then threw at first the cocalypts to the head because to give more concentration in the work the miners threw the cocalypts in the arms and also in the legs because of that way they could uh, leave uh, the mine safe. They threw the cocalypts to the floor because it's for, for the, to the earth because it's for the Pachamama, the earth mother. Then they started to use the, the alcohol and they throw the alcohol to the eyes because of that way they are asking that the Tio, the God, show the way and show the minerals that they have in the mine. Uh, uh, then they threw the alcohol in the member because uh, he, they ask for fertility. And salud. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <sighs> Muy rico. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in here now. It's, it's uh, not quite like what I was expecting, not the uh, tourist uh, deal that uh, I expected. This is really, really neat. A lot of different minerals in here. They're mining silver, zinc, and there's a lot of other stuff like asbestos. They're mining that out of here as well. The tubes that you see are to, uh, to bring air into the miners. And uh, there's over, in this one, how many meters of, uh, of tunnel? 400. About 400 meters in this one alone. This particular mine has been open since 1953, I think you said. Pretty neat. I don't know how much further we're going to go in, though. This is about enough for me, I think. <laughs> Here you can see, look at this. It looks like, um, you know, that he says that the mine, the miners send the mi minerals that they found in the lead well that is upstairs. Mm. So they send it, and then we, when we, we were out, you can mm -hmm. see that there are a lot of wagons. Mm -hmm. So they take, they, they are waiting here, all the minerals, sure. and they put the into minerals the and and take into the cars, and they push them out. out. Yes. Mm. That's the reason that I told you that they always work in groups of three people. Because one, two pull and the other leads where they have to go. Mm -hmm. ah. hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Tough job. Yeah. yeah, really. Well, a wonderful stop here after the mines. We're in Sucre, Bolivia. It is absolutely wonderful here. First city founded in Bolivia in 1538. It's one of the most colonial cities and one of the most cleanest cities we've been to so far. Uh, 
Everything is painted white. Uh, very European feel to it, but really, to let you know the feel of it, I have to let somebody talk to you that has more passion about it than I do. Uh, my name is Marilia, and I, from Sucre, I invite you to come wherever you want, and also to know the most beautiful city in Bolivia, Sucre, the constitutional capital. I mean, Sucre is very rich in culture, Sucre is very rich also in colonial patrimony, as you can see, and something is very important in Sucre, that the base of the economy, was and is still being the university. Here we have the university and was the second in all Latin America. It has a really home name. Universidad Mayor Real y San Francisco Javier de Chuquisaca. Now at that moment it just has six subjects and nowadays you can see that this city is a student city. It's, we have more than 40 faculties and uh, something that is very special that um, all the things that we have here is super simple. Well, here we are in Ascension, Paraguay, an absolutely wonderful place. Ascension was founded August 15th of 1537, also the date they say that the Virgin Mary ascended, hence the name Ascension. Now, Paraguay is one of two landlocked countries in South America. It's a very colonial city, which has achieved its independence in 1811. Something that a lot of people don't know about Paraguay is that in 1864 there was the Triple Alliance War. It was Paraguay against Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay. In this war, which took place at the same time as our Civil War, over 75% of its population died. Over 99% of the male population died here during the Triple Alliance War. Now, Paraguay has had some 30 presidents and had over 40 coup d'etat attempts. It was also ruled by a man named Strasco from 1954 until 1989. Now Paraguay is democratic and the winds have changed to pit here. The population of Ascension is 1.5 million and it's a bilingual country. Over 90% of the people speak, speak the native language of Guarani and also Spanish. Now Paraguay is under the radar and is an absolute must stop on any trip to South America. It's absolutely full of history and culture, and the people here are absolutely happy to have you here and very, very eager to show you their country. I hope you enjoy the pictures of Ascension Paraguay, right here in front of the Pantheon of Heroes. From Asunción, Paraguay, this is the double difference. Peyuque, come and visit us. Here is Jose, your friend. So, here we are with Chetaye. He's a member of one of the largest uh, Indian tribes still uh, in Paraguay. He's from the Maca tribe that they used to live in the, in the Chaco, in the Paraguayan Chaco. How different? How different? How different? How different? Ah, gracias, gracias. Friends, mexicanos, that's different. Why not you with this here and somebody else? Yeah. 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 Get it? <laughs> Fans, 